Do you remember when I first bought your Redbubble products and that led to me buying your Teespring products, which led to a huge, huge mess, which I've made previous videos on. Well, things have only gotten better. Just before we get started, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you can hit that like button because it allows more people to come and actually watch this video, which obviously means the world to me, but let's get right into it. So I made a Redbubble post, which led to this video, which then led to me buying your products. And then a bit later on, I made a Teespring post, which led to this video, and then to this video, and then eventually it led to these products being delivered. Now, I haven't actually opened any of them, as you can see here, because I wanted to do an on-camera, first-hand comparison for you, comparing everything from packaging quality, to sticker quality, to price, to shipping time, pretty much everything that needs to be compared between these two companies. Well, before I start, actually something very funny, or well, not really funny, a bit tragic, is for some reason, Teespring sent me two envelopes. Okay, and just so you know, the stickers inside these envelopes were bought from the same seller at the same time. You know, it should have just been in one envelope shipped to me, no idea why there's two. However, this envelope, on the other hand, was not stuck down. Someone in the factory, this is what it's meant to look like, right? That's what it's meant to look like. And someone in the factory forgot to stick down this envelope. And of course, seeing as it came from, looks like Germany maybe? Well, it's empty. Nothing, nothing is in it. It came empty. So that's super annoying, considering the fact that this took 14 days to get delivered. All right, I've got one of two stickers. It's just, it's annoying, right? And, and, and I've emailed them. Okay, I'm waiting for a reply. Hopefully I'll get a reply. But I've emailed them and I know they're just gonna offer to send me another one, which will be another 14 days. Do I want to do that? I don't know. Well, the main reason why I wanted to do this video is, as I'm sure you're aware, I had a lot of trouble with Teespring. I used to love Teespring, but you know, their checkout process, the clearly the, the, the packaging process, it's all just a bit rubbish at the moment. So I thought I really wanted to make a video comparing Redbubble to Teespring, because Redbubble's a bit newer. I feel like it's a bit more with it at this point, whereas Teespring has gone a bit downhill. So let's start with the first part of the comparison, and that's the price. Well, the red bubble sticker, that came in at, let me just check, three pounds and 10 pence. The Teespring sticker, including this empty one, came in at nine pounds, five pence, and this one was also nine pounds, five pence. So basically triple the price, just under triple the price, but triple the price for the Teespring stickers, okay? So that's, that's the price. So now let's talk about the packaging quality. Well, Redbubble comes in this really nice looking red, uh, heart, like it's not really bendy, it's a bit bendy, but it's not like, it looks like there's some cardboard in there. It's, you know, good quality packaging, okay? And then Teespring comes in this envelope, this envelope where I have about 300 of these in my drawer. They cost 10p, or possibly the envelopes, right? This is what I have in my drawer, and this is what they give me. This is just something people have around in their house, right? This is not what I expected. Nine pounds. This, this is ridiculous. This is flimsy, the, the, it can bend, it, the sticker can just, you know, look at that. Just crumples up. Whereas this is decent quality. Now remember, three pounds, 10 pence. Nine pounds, five pence. So that's the packaging quality. Now this is going to be the new layout for it. But that's the packaging quality. So for shipping, this took, Redbubble, I should say, it took six days to arrive. From the day I ordered it to the day it turned up in my flat, it took six days. Teespring took 14 days, so just over double, okay? Another huge thing to bear in mind. Now let's actually discuss the sticker quality because I haven't actually opened these. I'm gonna get rid of this one because it's empty. But let's discuss sticker quality. Teespring, Redbubble. This is all first hand and it could be quite funny if Teespring actually ends up being superior. Okay, this is Teespring's. It's like got this, it's very glossy. It looks like actually quite a thick sticker and I'm actually, this is. This feels like it's pretty good quality, actually. Let's have a look at Redbubble. There should be more than one sticker in here, but, oh, see, look how nice. Oh, that feels good. 
Right. This comes like this. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so these are these stickers. So there's four of them, I want to say. Yeah, okay. These are these stickers. Comes like this. Slightly smaller, as you can see from the actual Teespring one. Right, so Teespring, red bubble Teespring, right? You can see the, the Teespring one is slightly bigger. Do you want to zoom in for a sec? Right, so you can see the, let me, let me focus on that. Right, you can see this sticker here, right? It's glossy, it's thick, it's pretty good. And then you've got these stickers here, which are more matte, they're not glossy, but they are, do have, they're quite thick, right? They are actually very thick. I wouldn't say as thick, but they're very thick and also very good quality. So in terms of what I prefer, well, it's hard to say because the red bubble ones are colored and I actually really like the color. Um, the quality is pretty good. Some of them, this one's not very good quality, but this one is, it is very, very good quality. It's very good quality. So yes, Teespring have quality on point. Now this is a die cast sticker, whereas these are just normal stickers, even though I think these are, are pretty good, right? Red bubble, the quality isn't as good for some of them, but it's it's still pretty good. I, I am happy with the quality of both, actually. I'm happy with the quality of both. Is the Teespring one worth three times the price? Probably not. In fact, no, 100% not. So that's it, really. I mean, I just wanted to compare the packaging and the, the shipping and the price and the quality. And I think I feel like I've done that. Now, in terms of a verdict, which one would I go with next time? Well, I have to, I have to say Redbubble solely based on the fact that it was three pounds and 10 pence for a sticker compared to nine pounds, five pence with Teespring. And as well as that, the quality, this is just shocking. This is really, really good. And the actual sticker quality isn't good enough to make me want to go to Teespring. I'm still very happy with the red bubble sticker quality for me to stick with Redbubble. And this actually kind of makes me feel like I don't know where Teespring are going. I don't know what they're doing, but they have got to seriously up their game if they really want to get more sales, they want to get more business because it would not surprise me if, you know, three years down the line, Teespring are just not a thing anymore and everyone just uses Redbubble. Sorry for making yet another video bashing Teespring. However, when you get an envelope that hasn't even been, you know, stuck, there we go, I just did the guy's job. When you get an envelope that hasn't been stuck, it just screaming out for a video to be made. So I thought I would make a video and just, you know, compare them. So thank you so, so much for watching. There's only a few more of these bashing Teespring videos, I promise. But I just want to give a little bit of an update. Teespring did actually get back to me. They got back to me quite quickly. They got back to me within two days. I messaged them to tell them the problem. They got back to me and they said, well, we can send you a new one. And I said, that's lovely, but is it gonna take another 14 days? Because if so, I would just like a refund. Um, I didn't wanna wait, you know, over a month for a sticker. And um, a couple days later, about five days later, they automatically gave me a refund. They emailed me back saying, you know, we have now given you a refund. So, you know, they did do the right thing. What I personally would have done if it was my company is I would have sent out a sticker anyways just to, you know, show a bit of, of good faith and then also given a refund, seeing as a sticker is just a sticker, it doesn't really cost very much, not really worth anything. Um, but they did end up giving me a refund. So they did do the right thing at the end. So I just wanted to give you that update that Teespring aren't, you know, the devil. They, they, they can do the right thing sometimes. So I had, I think this was a pretty good customer uh, service experience. So I'm, I'm happy with this. I, I am happy. So I just want to say thank you so much for watching again I've said it before, but I hope I can see you in the next video Don't forget to smash the like button smash the subscribe button smash every button and I'll see you in the next video